good evening to everyone how are we all enjoying our weekend hope everyone is doing great and uh, just coming in today to give you guys I've, I'll be keeping up to date with my messages and uh, my topics and uh, before we go ahead I would like you to share these videos and also there are so many people you cannot give advice you cannot talk to and uh, this is a way of reaching them or this is the medium of letting them know what they should understand what they should know about okay and uh, yeah I've got this topic for you guys today and before I say that I would love everyone to like share and like and uh, first of all thank you to those of you who've been watching my videos and I just want to say a massive thank you to you all okay right I've got this topic why we should have a strong mindset or why do you need to have a strong mindset okay and um, there's so many ways you know we should have a strong mindset okay when you determine you want to do something go for it and uh, because most of the time the things we get worried about or the things we get pushed back about that we think of we're worried of we're stressed of those 99 percent of time if i'm not mistaken or even let me just not go that far let me say 60 to 70 percent of time we end up not experiencing it you understand but we're worried about it what about what if what if what if we think about something that is not even there or that is not even going to surface or show that something like this is going to happen negatively we assume already we think already and sometimes the thinking we're thinking can make us to even hinder our success of getting what we want to right in my line of business why i need to have this strong mindset is this because you're dealing i'm dealing with people i'm dealing with staff i'm dealing with public and i'm dealing with uh, 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 products okay so sometimes um i mainly maybe when clients need something from me and i said no i cannot do it and they start bringing up this facial expression they want to push me to do it i start insisting no because i have reason of saying no my reasons are because sometimes if it goes wrong i will be the one in trouble not the person who asks you for it so you must have a strong mindset that okay this i'm not going to do this i'm going to do in the course of the years i have placed a very strong mindset to build up myself to have my own business to do my own thing and i know so many people try to put me down to not just to put me down to actually pull me down even in this business since i opened now on the 5th of um, march i i was telling somebody about two days ago i said I just start to know people who are my friends and people who are not my friend and people who are acquaintances and people who are not and she asked me why I gave a few reasons okay and uh, there are people who want to build with you there are people who don't want to build with you they just want to come and sit down and enjoy the platform with you to say or taking the glory in your life okay something happened to me recently and which nobody knows about i took a stand by myself and i did it and i said yeah this is what i want and that shows to me that i've got strong mindset and when i say i want to do something i go for it just for example what i'm doing here in alifas i went for it it's not something that a young lady like me or a young woman like me we want to even go for there's some risk i take that sometimes i ask myself does this worth it or why am i doing this but i check out the benefits of it and what is going to yield for me in future it gives me that drive it pushes it more pushes me more to want to even do well to even want to excel in it there are so many things that have fallen into my uh, uh, plate this period of time but because i have this strong mindset okay let's say i have a staff member who i just don't want to let go i don't know i did not just want to let go but that thing inside me saying don't let go but the staff member is telling me i have to go because i i am not doing what you want me to do i said no i want you to learn from this i don't want you to see it as just 
because you're working for me i'm giving you the privilege to gain yourself to understand your mindset meaning you have to go she said no i do understand but when i had to do it i had to cross my mind i had to just say listen Am I going to be losing out more or am I going to be gaining more? So what do I need to do? If I want to be in the middle, let me be in the middle and take the risk. I, I was in the middle for eight weeks. I took the risk, but the middle, it didn't really pay off. Okay. So I took the other way around, which end up paying off. Okay. So what I'm trying to say here, you want to go into business? Trust me, it's going to definitely, definitely weigh you down. At the first one year, two years, don't expect anything like getting a lot of money out of it to want to live in the um, flamba glorious life you want to live. How to, I don't know how to go to it. So, you know, the way, the way you want to live, you want to live flashy. Yeah, that's the word. You want to live extravagant life, like Nigerians would say, cut your coat according to your cloth. You know, people want to live like that at the first year of the business. Trust me, that business will collapse. This is my 10th year of princess salon okay this is my 10th years okay i've not celebrated it i'm going to be celebrating it soon sometime this year i just want to thank god for it because if i didn't have the strong mindset to go for it like when i wanted to go for it i spoke to two business planners i spoke to project manager i spoke to so many people and trust me out of five people that i spoke to five of them put me down and say you can't do it but trust me because I've got this very, very strong mindset. When I want to do something, I do it. When I want to do something, I do it. I love taking risks. And when I want to do it, I go for it with my fullest. And when I don't want to go for anything, nobody can force me to it. So when I'm doing something, I give you my word. I, I will stick to my word. I do stick to my word. But if there is a comma or there is a question mark there, trust me. That's me now. I'll give you the other side. That's my own personal personal opinion about myself. Okay? So when you want to do business, black women out there, Caucasian women, English women, African women, you want to do any business, don't just look at it now. Don't look at the stress in it. Trust me, don't get me wrong. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be stress. There's going to be struggle. But for what I've been through over the years, trust me, <laughs> if I can do it, I don't see anybody who cannot do it so i want to use this opportunity to say when you have strong mindset don't see it as a, a, a don't see it as a bad thing but learn how to make the right decision when you're having strong mindset but when you want to like be weakest link be careful of people are going to step on you people are going to match you people are, in front right in front of you you can see this thing is blue they can change it for you to be red that's how bad it is when it comes to business okay and uh, you have to like the sleepless nights the the time you want to be checking products you want to be knowing things you know there's a word I, I normally say to my staffs I always say to them there's a word that normally I, the people normally say uh, customers is always right it's not true customer is not always right but you should look after your customers and make them feel comfortable make them feel good make them feel okay like the lady that came to me today is a is a nana i call her nana is an old lady a grandmother very lovely woman she said i hope you're not going to run away i said no why he said i've been looking for you i went to the other shop i've been looking for you i can't find you today i have caught you here and i want you to stay i said don't worry i've come to stay and uh, she's looking for me. She said, I've been to everywhere, to all other addresses. The advice they've given me, I'm not happy with it. I've done everything they want me to do, but it's not working. The last time you gave me an advice, I went for it and I did it. Trust me, my hair was perfect. But since then, I didn't see you anymore. Over a year plus, I, I started apologizing. So one thing is, when you're confident, you know what you're saying, what you're doing. That strong mindset come into it. Then you're, 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 you're determined to say, this is what it is and don't look back you want to achieve your goal please ladies don't look back have that strong mindset that carries you along in the course of this mindset don't say don't do anything that will bring you problem or don't do anything that will cause you always balance and check 
where you've gone wrong or where you're going right and do it the right way so it's not always going to be easy with businesses and with my with stuff as well with if you're working with clients or if you're working with friends colleagues at work when you have a mindset like me i've got this one of this mindset that i don't gossip people so when you want to bring gossip to me be careful because if not you're going to be a victim okay because i will make sure i screwed you down to the end i'm like and i i cut you short straight away or i'm put you in that position that you would not even want to tell me a secret and like not a secret there's a difference between a secret or a gossip okay so that's my kind of person okay so have a strong mindset that takes you throughout your business now you know that in this course or in this line of my business i want to keep this straight road i want to keep this straight and narrow road i don't want no drifting away or saying things that will come in contrary to what i believe or your beliefs and your 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 way of life so you stick to it and hold firm to it okay so i just want to appreciate everybody and i want women out there to understand that having strong mindset and to be t determined you know of what you want to do does it does not make you a, a a a a stubborn person or arrogant person okay it just makes you people to understand or makes you feel good to understand that you know what you're talking about you know yourself you don't want to settle or you don't want to settle for less for anything that's another topic on its own okay that's just another topic on its own so i will appreciate all women mothers brothers sisters have it's good to have a very very strong mindset okay when you say let we should learn how to say no in something and learn how to say yes not everything you say yes to i remember when i was growing up my mom would say it's not all greetings you answer and it's true i've come to understand that parable you understand it's not everybody you answer their greetings it's not everybody that is welcome into your life it's not everybody you want to introduce your personal lifestyle to it's not everybody you want to be around with their acquaintances that you don't need to be around them. There are people that just, hi, hello. They're not supposed to come close to your to your to your door. That's the word. So when we we as a human being, we we can we can we can be nasty sometimes, and also we can be very, very, very nice. So one thing I want to say to mothers. Have a mindset, a strong mindset, sometimes even with your children, most especially teenagers. When you say no to something, don't come back to say yes to them because you know that when you say no to that something, it's going to take them a long way. It's going to help them enhance or achieve their, 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 their goals. It's going to help them do well. But when you now say yes, you know it's going to bring them two, three steps backward. So why saying yes to just please them? So I think we should have a strong mindset that helps us to look after, to do well with our children. I hope this video helps. Like as I said before, I'm going to be coming up with two, three videos in a week to talk to us about, okay? And uh, yeah, I've just finished work now. It's eight o'clock my time now. And um, yeah, it's eight o'clock, eight, 7.55 because my watches are always like five or 10 minutes ahead. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Saturday the 28th of may so the year is going again and i uh, just want to say a massive thank you to all of you once again and have a lovely and blissful weekend take care of yourself and have a wonderful weekend take care bye from chris's and Shaz beauty world